Davidson pumps it away. Oh! And the Lions get back to back goals. When I was younger, I always dreamt of being a professional athlete. My biggest dream was to play AFLW. Um, I didn't really care what team I played for. I sort of just was so driven to make it somehow in the sporting industry. So at the age of 16, I was definitely having conversations with AFLW teams on where I'd see myself in the future. Yeah, unfortunately, I took a turn and decided to play rugby um, before exploring AFL. I signed a contract with the Western Force um, through school. I went to a Catholic school in Perth. I then made the Super W teams. I also made an Aussie Sevens development squad. Um, so I was flying to Sydney maybe two weeks a month and just, yeah, was playing every rugby I could get. I did want a long career with rugby, but then unfortunately I broke my leg um, just before going to Colorado with the Australian Sevens and that was a huge setback. Um, and then unfortunately from there I sort of um, tore paths with rugby a little bit. Injury gave me a lot of time to reflect on life choices, where I wanted to be. Um, rugby was still definitely in the picture, hence why I attempted to come back. Unfortunately, it just wasn't for me and mentally and physically, I wasn't at the level I needed to be. Um, I was just lucky to have Ali Anderson and Craig Stasevich knock at my door and constantly message me to drive me and show me some support to get me back to where I needed to be, I guess. In 2018, I nominated for the AFLW draft, even though I was an injured player. I was just lucky enough to have Brisbane Lions pick me up as a rookie draft before the draft happened. Um, it was quite surreal. Um, it just gave me a little bit more confidence knowing that someone was happy to have me on their team even though I'd been away from the game for so long. So leading into round one of my debut season, I didn't know I was going to get selected until the Thursday before playing. So I was quite shocked that I was named in the starting team I didn't expect it, but I was grateful for the opportunity um, and I was definitely going to embrace it and take it in with both hands um, and sort of show them what I can do. I do remember a bit of my first goal. Um, it was against Richmond football team. Um, I think Shannon Campbell had just bombed it in the forward line to me running onto it to an open goal. Um, it was my first touch, so I was scared, I was nervous. I was just lucky that it went through um, the big sticks um, and that sort of boosted my confidence for the rest of the game. Just throws it on boot in the forward direction. Look at the speed of Hotter, the first game of the X Factor. She's got her first ever goal. Playing in a final series, it didn't hit me until the day we played. I was sort of away with the fairies and didn't really want to think too hard about the upcoming games. Um, yeah, so like I said, it didn't come to me until I was playing. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, this is a final. In, in your first year, you're playing a final in AFLW. How cool is that? So. It was a little shock to the system, but definitely a, an amazing opportunity. Playing um, some big finals in the under-18s tournament definitely set me up um, for success in the AFLW season. To then play a grand final, I was quite relaxed um, and confident that I'd done it before. Yes, there was a bigger crowd, but I sort of was able to feed off their energy um, and I quite like the pressure and the environment that finals footy gives you. Um, yeah, it just gives me the urge or um, edge to sort of do something amazing 
with my game. I definitely didn't imagine um, that I'd be in a grand final in my first year of AFLW, not only to win it also, yeah, I would guess I was just really, really lucky to have had that opportunity um, so early in my um, professional career. I think once I won the flag, I didn't really consider how long it took me to get to where I was. I was sort of basing my emotions on the now moment, but not too long after the grand final, I had some time to reflect on, hey, it actually took me three to four years to get here. So it was a big moment for me in my career um, and knowing that you got through some of the hardest moments of your life um, to then get to this amazing opportunity um, and win a flag.